I didn't remember just how much I love to draw in pen and ink. So this year I decided to take the Inktober challenge. If you're an artist, you probably already know what Inktober is. For those of you who don't or who may not have heard of it, I'm going to explain it right now. Inktober was founded by the artist Jake Parker in 2009 and his aim was to draw every day for 31 days in order to improve his inking skills. Now it has become an annual challenge and it takes place every October. So every year there is an official prompt list and it's usually available I believe towards the end of September so if you want to get a head start you can actually plan your drawings ahead of time. There are no hard and fast rules to Inktober. The main rule is simply to get drawing and show them off. So my super simplified win-win strategy without burnout is to pick three topics per week from the Inktober prompt list. I'm going to cherry pick the prompts that I'm going to use to align with some of the topics that I want to explore. And even if I don't have 31 drawings at the end of it, I'll consider it a win because I'll have lots of drawings that I can further develop later on. Participating in Inktober encourages you to draw every day. Of course, the more you draw, the more your art will improve, so it's a good discipline to get into. I've even seen some people add colour to their line drawing, so you can be as creative as you want. Others actually create their own lists, so again, just get drawing and all you really need is a pen and a piece of paper. And if you feel really adventurous, you can experiment with different kinds of pens and even different kinds of paper, of course. So if you're just starting out with Inktober like me, I would say customize it to suit your needs. And then I think maybe next year I'll be ready for the full challenge. Either way, I think participating in Inktober is a win-win situation. At the beginning of the video, I showed a few of my older ink drawings. I love to use pen and ink. For this Inktober challenge, I don't think I'm gonna get quite so detailed, but if you know me, I have to do my research. So the subject I chose for the very first Inktober prompt, which is dream, is a dream catcher. For this prompt, I'm going to use just a plain old black ballpoint pen and a Micron ink pen. I'm certainly not going to use all the pens that I've accumulated, but maybe down the line I'll try them out on some of the other drawings. So, in my first quest for knowledge and understanding, I decided to draw the feathers of the Dreamcatcher. I always start with a pencil drawing before I do my ink drawings. It makes the process so much easier. The Dreamcatcher is a beautiful Native American tradition and it originates with the Ojibwe people. Originally, dream catchers were placed above a baby's cradle to catch all the bad dreams.
For the Lakota, the dream catcher was used to hold the good dreams so that the people may have bright futures. All elements of the dream catcher hold importance. The hoop represents the circle of life. The weave represents the spider's web and is there to catch all the good or bad dreams. The beads and gems themselves represent the spider, which holds so much importance in many native cultures. The feathers have many interpretations, but essentially they are elements through which the dreams may flow. The addition of spearheads represents the four corners of the earth. It's a beautiful tradition. So there you have it, my first Inktober drawing, the beautiful dream catcher. I hope you enjoyed this video. So please like and subscribe. Wishing you beautiful dreams and much love. Peace.